Why doesn't the A10's landing gear fully retract, always leaving the wheels sticking out halfway? It's not a design flaw. It's actually a life-saving feature. The A-10 is famous for its deadly close air support role. When it shows up on the battlefield, U.S. forces already control the skies and ground defenses are mostly cleared. But even then, low-flying A-10s can still get hit by enemy fire. This jet wasn't built for speed or altitude. It was built to stay close and protect troops. If the wings take hits, they won't snap off immediately. The huge control surfaces, made from honeycomb composite, let the A-10 keep flying even at low speeds. In fact, it can still limp home even if one wing is badly damaged. But here's the catch. Battle damage often knocks out the hydraulic system. That means the landing gear under the wings might not deploy. Most jets in that situation have no choice but to belly land. Best case, the plane's totaled. Worst case, the pilot doesn't make it. This is where the A-10's half-exposed wheels shine. They act like built-in landing skids, absorbing impact and keeping the fuselage from grinding apart. That simple design dramatically boosts pilot survival rates and often saves the jet itself which can be patched up and sent back into battle. No wonder people call the A-10 a miracle of military engineering. It doesn't care about looking sleek. It only cares about surviving the fight. So what do you think? Genius design or just ugly but tough?